I met Ben. Ben came over to hook up last night. And it did not go well. It was really bad. Really, really. Let me preface all of this by saying that usually when you arrange a kink or a BDSM hookup or play date, as I call them, I'm learning, um, there's usually a lengthy prior negotiation where um, hard and soft limits, safe words, and rules of play are agreed upon. That's what I was expecting to happen when I let Ben into my apartment. Instead, he just tugged at my dress. Take your clothes off now. I complied, suddenly feeling really ashamed of my body. He didn't say anything kind about it. Get on your knees now, he said, and I dropped my knees. I'm starting to feel scared. This isn't right. This isn't going the way that it's supposed to. He takes the red paddle from my dresser, my favorite impact toy, and he presses it into my neck hard. He grabs my hair and he yanks my head backwards. I stare up at him. Was he growing taller? Was I getting shorter? He seemed like a giant. He looms over me at 6'2". My mouth cannot and will not, for some reason, form words. He drags me by my hair across the floor, and that red paddle comes whistling through the air and cracks down on my ass. Four times, full force. The impact is so hard, my vision goes black. Orders me to kneel in front of him. And he hugs me for a moment, providing just the briefest moment of aftercare. And for a moment, I am lulled into a false sense of security. He um, grabs my nipples in his hands and starts to squeeze. I'm gonna need you to man up, he says, squeezing and, and twisting. And I cry out, shut your fucking mouth, he says, slapping me across the face. And I cry out again, shut your fucking mouth, and he slaps me again. Stupid fucking whore. He raises his hand to slap me a third time, and my hand inadvertently blocks his. He um, twists my nipples into oblivion. It hurt so bad. Don't you ever block my hand again. Do you understand me? I shake in unbearable pain, just trying not to cry. He takes my blogger and orders me to crawl. And I crawl across the floor, uh, just, just trying not to cry as he whips me. I just retreat inward, waiting for it to end. I, he presses my head between his thighs, smothering me. I bet you like that, you Bitch. For a moment, I think this guy might actually murder me. I go somewhere else. I just wait for it to end. Why is this happening again? How is this happening again? Remember Mark? My college boyfriend, 
when we went to that Christmas party together and then crashed in his friend's basement. I wake up to find myself pinned between Mark's body and the back of the couch. My jeans around my knees, his fingers inside of me. I can't move my arms or my legs. I just, I just feel his hot breath on my neck. He moans quietly. I don't know what's happening. I, I try to move his hand away, but he will not stop. Thomas and his entire family are asleep upstairs. He um, forces himself inside of me. And he presses me further into the couch cushions and he thrusts over and over. He's thrusting so hard I feel like my insides are ripping. I know I'm gonna bleed. I want to scream, but I can't bear the thought of ruining everyone's Christmas. I can't bear the thought of People coming down into the basement and seeing me like that. <laughs> my jeans are on my ankles. Mark flips me over and presses my face into the couch. I bite my lips. Don't cry. I tell myself, don't you dare let him see you cry. Do you like that? He asks, and I know he will come if I say yes. Yes. How much do you like it? I just want it to stop. It feels so good, I say. And he finishes exhaling sharply. Go clean yourself up, he says, and he hands me the condom. Get rid of this. I walk up the stairs, shaking. Thomas's mom is asleep in the living room. The glow from the TV lights my way to the bathroom, and I pee, and I get rid of the condom, and I wash my hands, and then I just go back down into the basement and lay down next to him. Ben... Ben didn't rape me. I wasn't raped last night. He just um, forced me to masturbate for him after he assaulted me. <laughs> um, yeah, just as if that's not a terrible thing. And then he left like I was nothing. I was supposed to be safe here. I've been haunted by the that basement and, and the fact that my boyfriend raped me on Christmas for years and I have done everything in my power to make sure that it never happened to me again. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for, for this. I have done all of this healing, all of this growing, and all of this changing. And it happened again. I was assaulted again. And what makes all of this so horrible is that the only person I'm mad at is myself. A haiku. I thought it was safe. But this shit keeps happening. And I hate myself.